Hello everyone, welcome to my channel DJ Cosplays and I'm going to quickly do a rundown of how I tried to make an Ashbow from League of Legends. And I just want to say that I am not a professional cosplayer, prop maker, nor do I have a degree in expanding foam physics. And even while making mine after I finished, I had ideas on how to improve what I did. This was a learning curve since I only had 48 hours to make the prop. And I hope what I did in me explaining it will help anyone who wants to make a similar prop to mine and hopefully this turns out a bit better. Okay, so firstly we need a base to keep the bow good and strong. Also for an outline of where to put the foam later on. I did this by using a reference for her bow I found online along with looking at the 3D player model from the actual game. As far as dimensions go, I had to work with the practicality of carrying this thing around all day as well as making sure it wouldn't break. So I went 110cm for the overall length and 25cm for the total width being from each side's widest point. I used these to make an outline which I sketched in pencil onto some decently thick cardboard and cut out each shape, one being for each half of the bow. I began spraying expanding foam over the cardboard stencil and try not to be too sporadic since you'll be carving it down later on and any large air pockets you will need to fill back in. Once the first half is done, repeat again for the second half, and once they're dry, you glue the two pieces together to make one full bow. Now you may notice something, I happened to accidentally make two of the same half and I didn't realise it until they were dry. Now this doesn't seem like that big of a deal until I did the same thing again. So just remember to actually flip your stencil before you start putting the expanding foam onto it. Once both your halves are dry and expanded properly, not just touch dry, it has to be dry through the middle. Then it's time to begin carving. I just cut off all the extra foam that went over the stencil on the edges and smoothed out the surface which dried really weird and roughly, but that's just what the foam does. I did use a box cutter for this as it worked really well for me but feel free to use whatever you like to cut the foam. I also carved out the indents on in the middle of the bow. I used a box cutter and cut out the outline very carefully and then dug out the foam on the inside to make the indent using my fingers to push the air bubbles out and flatten the texture. And uh, y yep, this is me eating junk food because I'd been carving for quite a few hours already. I also used a hot glue gun just to add a few details to the edge of the bow. Now if you have time, I recommend using something that's not a hot glue gun that'll look a lot better and less cheap. But as I didn't really have any time to use something like that, I did end up having to use the hot glue gun. Once I finished carving out both halves, I used maxi glue, which is a very strong glue, and do not try to use hot glue as it dries before you can finish placing all the glue down and stick them together, and it isn't really strong enough anyway. If you use wood for the stencil, then you can always use wood glue to stick the two together. It's the same if you use any other material for the base, but this one worked best with the cardboard that I used. Can we also talk about how satisfying this is to watch? Just... Damn. Anyway, after the glue is down, place the two halves together and apply pressure. You can do this by putting something heavy on top, or what I did, and cover it in rubber bands and jockey straps. This is some 50 grades BS right here. Leave the glue to dry overnight. The morning after the glue's dried, I removed the straps and went over again with expanding foam to fill in the cracks around the edges. If you have more time than I did, I definitely recommend taking the time to use putty to fill them in, but I didn't have the time for this, and I was a bit too lazy to get the putty. Now, once that dries, you need to carve it out and make the edges look as seamless as possible. You can also seal the bow using fiberglass or plaster, though keep in mind they are breakable. And once again, I actually had to skip this because I didn't have the time. Finally on to painting, I used two shades of blue spray paints, after which painting I do wish I had used the lighter colours, but that didn't really matter too much. Using the lighter blue to coat the entire bow and then using the darker one in some of the more sunken parts to help create more depth to the bow. This includes the inside of the carvings. I know her bow is meant to be ice and this doesn't particularly resemble ice at all, so I just did what I do best and added some glitter to it. Using a turquoise, a blue and a white glitter, I sprinkled them all over the entire bow, save for the handle, which I ended up spraying silver. Give the first side time to dry and then move on to the second one. Now this is basically the end of the tutorial anyway, but I kind of forgot to film the rest of what I did anyway and I was really tired that night, so I'm just going to quickly throw up some pics of me at the con with the bow. Anyways, I hope that tutorial was a little bit helpful for anyone who wants to do this sort of 
thing, I guess. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this is my first tutorial, so it's a little bit, you know, jumpy all over the place. But I hope some people enjoyed it, and keep an eye out for me at Smash, which is coming up. I'm not sure if I'll have time to upload before then, but I hope I see everyone at another convention soon. Feel free to comment down below what you want to see next. I am open to all ideas. Leave any criticisms, cr criticisms you may have. There we go. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I make mediocre videos with no set time. What's up? Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.